And we have a very special guest with us today, Gila Rayberg. Well, I'm sure you've seen her Picassi at work. She is amazing at her whim whimsical portraits like this one. And I managed to get her in our studio while she's visiting Orlando to conduct workshops. Welcome, Gila. I am so excited that you're here and that we can learn about how uh, Picassi and Thinset goes together and makes it all possible. Thank you, Luann. It's really nice to be here with you. Oh, my pleasure. Tell me, do you use only Thin Set for Picassiette ink? Yes, I use Thin Set for all my Picassiette pieces. I like to use the powder Thin Set because it doesn't have a shelf life. And also, I can mix as little or as much uh, Thin Set together for the project that I'm working on at the time. When I buy a large bag of Thin Set, I bring it home and then I decant it into smaller containers. I use coffee cans lined with plastic bags, good way to recycle. Yeah, and absolutely. And I put the powdered Thin Set in a smaller container so I can mix as little or as much as I need. And I keep the large amount sealed up and I don't have to open it all oh. the time and expose it to the humidity. Oh wow, that's awesome. Well, let's mix up a batch so we can see how you do it. Excellent. So I take a scooper to take about the amount I want to use, very carefully being sure not to let the powder get up into the air and into my nose. Take the desired amount, and then just add some water, and begin to mix. When you mix, be sure to mix all of the powder into the water, scraping around the edges, and also making sure you get anything that's stuck on your stick all mixed in to your desired consistency. Sometimes if you need just a little extra water, it's good to use a spray bottle so you can control kind of, kind of control. the <laughs> amount of water that goes in. Okay, you want me to add a little bit more for you? Sure. Want a little thicker. Scrape around the edges, making sure all of the lumps are out so you get a smooth consistency. Add a little more if you need, and we're ready to go. Oh, great. You know, I love the idea of that spray bottle, so to help, you know, control the amount of water, because a lot of times I put too much in, and yes. then got to keep adding thin sets, so. Awesome. So, how does the thin set work with your tessera? I like to build a thick mix like this, and then if I have a piece that is scooped out like this, I like to fill it up so that there's no space. Oh. Fill up the space, okay. put it on. Then if I'm using a smaller piece that's much thinner next to it, I can use, I can build up the substrate a little bit. Perfect. Like that, and I can push my tessera in and angle it like that so that you have oh nice yes nice um, no steps right but flows smooth. together mm -hmm. yes and then also if it's you know if you have a big area like that i can also use a small scrap that i have to help wedge it up so that it doesn't fall down oh okay holds it up just awesome. like that um perfect these are great ideas for using thick thin set, but how do you use the thin set with a thinner consistency? When I have pieces that are the same thickness, I can mix my thin set thinner, which will also last a bit longer, and I can just put it on my substrate and add my pieces so that they line up and just go on there. All right. So they stay pretty level that way with each yeah, other. Yeah, they're all level and you just have to watch your grout lines. Right in there. All right. Perfect. So any more thin set tips? Yes, it's important to remember as you're working 
to pick up your thin set and really stir it because it gets starts to dry out around the edges it'll last longer okay. and then when it really starts to dry up it's in, you should just throw it away and mix up a fresh batch you could you never want to add water and reconstitute it. Oh, okay. It messes with the chemical reaction, so. Great, great to know. Awesome. That's it. Well, thank you so much, Gila. This was great information, and I learned more about Thinset, and I hope you did too. So check out Gila's website and her workshops. We'll post the link at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.